Hello, my dear friends. Thank you very much for dropping by. Today, it's time to run some benchmarks. To be more precise, we're going to have a look at offset pagination and cursor pagination because in one of the last videos, I was showing you how to use offset pagination with the Blazor Quick Grid. Maybe you want to check out the info card for that. And in there, someone asked, what about cursor pagination? Isn't that faster? Well, is it really? Well, I thought, let's just have a look at that. Quick explanation, offset pagination means that that you set an well offset to the data you want to collect or retrieve from your database meaning if you have 1 million records for instance in the database table and you want the last 50 then well you can count yourself you would have to set an offset to 1 million minus 50 approximately right and then what entity framework for instance does it, it counts and skips all the records, all the entries that come before. Whereas when you use cursor pagination, then you just set an ID and that would then be the ID 1 million minus 50, for instance. And that would be then the last page if your page size is 50 entries. I think you get the idea. So this is one of the tests we're going to run. And now I would say we will have a look at the code. But first, if you learned something and like this video, then guys, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It does make a difference. Thank you very much for that. And maybe you want to check out my newsletter to get these videos right into your inbox. That would mean the world to me. So thank you very much. And now let's start with the benchmarks. Really quick, this is the setup. So what do we have here? It's a console application. Console app one is the name, pretty great name, right? And these are all the files we have. So I tested this first. I tested this with an in-memory database, but the differences haven't been, weren't that much actually. So offset or cursor pagination, uh, pretty much the same results. So I thought, okay, this, that there must be something different here. So I then switched to a SQL Server uh, database, SQL Express, and this is really, this, mi this makes a big, big difference. So this is one important information, I guess. And, and then I use Entity Framework, of course, with my DB context, pretty simple stuff. And this little class here, uh, the entity with an ID and a name, and then in the pagination benchmarks, these are the, the functions then and the benchmarks we want to run. Uh, but first, maybe the programs, yes, really simple. In essence, we just run our benchmarks with benchmark.net. This is important to note. So you can have a look here at the dependencies. You see, I first tried this with in memory, not the best test actually, but then with SQL Server and uh, here's benchmark.net. And uh, I ran some migrations, of course, to get the database running. And regarding the database, see I tested some stuff already. We have the my database here. Uh, you can ignore the time tracker database. This is from the .NET Web Academy. Well, maybe you wanna have a look there. Links in the video description. But for us, interesting now is this entities a database and a database table actually. And when we have a look here, it's currently empty, right? And I now want to test this with several amounts of records. So maybe 1,000 at first and then 10,000 and then we just increase that. But now here, the, the actual benchmark. So what do we want to do? The first methods here are, uh, well, that's a use case where the user wants to access the very last page as stated in the intro of the of the data. So first with uh, offset pagination, we first get the number of pages and then how many pages or entries should be skipped. So this is this little formula here. And then again, we use entity framework with skip and take to actually get the the data, the records. And just as a side note, ID is really always one to 10,000, 100,000, whatever we want to uh, test here. All right. So this should really uh, match and work because it would be necessary to make this test actually, uh, or th so that the test makes sense in essence. All right. Now regarding uh, get the last page with cursor pagination would simply mean that again, we grab the total items minus the page size then plus one for the ID we want. And then we use where to well, get the entry with that certain ID or starting with that ID and then we take, again, we use take then uh, with the page size. This is the last page. And then we have two other 
benchmarks are the functions here general offset pagination cursor pagination meaning that what if the user wants to skip through all the pages or you're using a crawler to skip through all the pages something like that and that would then be these benchmarks here all right so in essence it's a for loop down here it's a while loop uh, where we just increase the pages and get every last bit of our records okay i hope this makes sense now the first test is simply 1000 entries for that as you can see here uh, we can run this thing and then the result is oh there is some stuff there already see then then it's good to run this here truncate and now there are zero entries and now i've got this little script here so we run uh, we start with 1000 it executes we're done here and now regarding the count we have 1000 entries all right and first again i would say we start with get the last page so here let me just comment this out after that make sure if you want to do this by yourself make sure to set this thingy here to release so you really build the release version of the debug version and then you simply run this thing terminal should open this takes a while don't worry i will fast forward with the other tests, but maybe you want to see this the very first time. So here you can see what benchmark.net is actually doing. And you are actually sitting here, just sitting then here and watching because what benchmark.net is doing is it's not running that one time or two times, it's running that stuff several times and then it calculates the mean time that it takes to run the functions also uh, shows you how much uh, memory or how many memory is allocated much memory and many many memory right and uh, yeah that's that's really interesting so first function is done now comes the second one and this is only a thousand entries and only getting the last page so you can imagine how long this takes when you're using the other benchmark functions and after a couple of seconds now we should be done yep there we are and you can already see this is interesting right that get last page with cursor in the mean took us 260 millisecond uh, microseconds and offset 627 so even with only a thousand records cursor pagination is a lot faster well again the reason might be that regarding the offset entity framework really counts the the entries that come before the actual entries you want to see and this is significantly higher i can already spoil you that uh, when you have a million entries for instance but let's let's see that by ourselves so cursor is already on first place we go back to our sql server management studio remove almost remove everything here jesus and we've got zero and now the next test would be maybe ten thousand execute this one all right execute count perfect and now i'm just skipping this so let's have a look at the result and here's the result for ten thousand records now you see difference is already significant 250 microseconds in average for cursor pagination and four and a half thousand for so we are at milliseconds actually four milliseconds four and a half milliseconds for the offset pagination now what's interesting is that uh, benchmark.net is telling us that it seems that the distribution is bimodal so this means this is a hint that there may be two different modes for running this benchmark meaning that maybe there is some caching or optimization done i'm i have no idea if entry framework is doing something like that under the hood maybe it is but in the end we still have a mean value of 250 microseconds and the difference already is significant so you see that even with only 10,000 entries in your database table Cursor pagination makes a lot of sense if you want to access the last page. Now, just for fun, let's do the same test again for 100,000 records. So 100,000 it is. And let's run this one more time. 
All right, no warning whatsoever. Maybe it had something to do with garbage collection. I am not sure about that, but you see here now with 100,000 records, this is just crazy. Cursor pagination, pretty much the same value, 250 microseconds, and now almost 40 milliseconds. So you could really feel the difference maybe uh, with offset pagination here, 100,000 records. It's actually not that much for a database table. And when the user wants to skip, for instance, with a web application uh, to the last page, then uh, the user would have to wait a bit longer. Well, does the user really feel that? I am not sure about that, but still you see if your records number grows, then of course, in average, cursor pagination is way faster than, than offset pagination if you wanna skip to the last page. Now let's do the same tests here or run the same tests with actually skipping through the pages, right? So I just un uh, or comment these out. And now here I comment these in. So offset pagination, here you see the code again, offset pagination with the for loop and cursor pagination with the while loop where we just say where and then the ID we wanna see. And here offset pagination, we skip actually the number of records. But first let's start with maybe, first uh, run the truncate table again. So we have no entries here. And I'd say we just run with a hundred of test a hundred, all right? That's really not much. So let's try that. We close this and go back here. All right, that was easy. And you see, wow, offset pagination is faster in that case. Rank one took less memory and it's uh, half of a millisecond and 1.5 milliseconds for cursor pagination with only 100 records. That's already interesting, right? Because if you really have database tables with not really many records, then maybe offset pagination is better if you wanna skip through all the pages or this is a typical use case. Now, let's say we have a hundred records. Sorry, I meant a thousand, so now thousand records in the table. Let's run this. Now this benchmark already took way longer and you still see that offset pagination is a winner here. Nine milliseconds in average to run through all the pages and 11 for cursor pagination. And regarding memory also offset pagination a bit better than cursor pagination. So that's still interesting with 1000. Now let's go to 10,000 records, shall we? All right, so now 10,000 and here are the IDs. You see it here in the end, 10,000 records freshly created. Freshly created, do you say it like that? I'm not sure about it. But now let's run this. We skip all or we skip through all the pages with 10,000 records in the table. And here's the result. So now cursor pagination way faster than offset pagination, 112 milliseconds and 437 for offset pagination. Again, memory allocation is a bit higher, but now if it's about the time, then you see that cursor pagination now with 10,000 records already, again, not really a lot, is way faster. Now, I could run this with 100,000 and a million, but this takes ages, so please believe me, cursor pagination is then significantly better and faster than offset pagination. So this means in conclusion, cursor based pagination uses the ID of any starting item and directly queries records that have IDs greater than this value. So this approach is very efficient as it doesn't need to traverse through all the preceding records. Now, offset pagination here, well, it has to count and skip over a large number of rows to reach, for instance, the last page, as we've seen in the first examples, right? But if you do not have a lot of entries in your database table, then there are not, or there is not a large number of rows to skip. So in that case, 
it may be faster than cursor pagination, but with a significantly large data set. Well, here's already 10,000 entries, but maybe if you have a million entries in your, in, uh, your database table, then this operation becomes quite costly, leading to the long execution uh, times we already see here. So with that, I hope you now know more. If so, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, please. It does make a difference. Thanks a lot for that. Have a look at my newsletter to get these videos here in your inbox. And again, thank you very much for watching and I hope I see you next time. Take care.